Hi, I'm Aoife from Women's Health Dublin.ie. This video we're going to talk about sex after childbirth. So one of the first questions a lot of women ask me in their postnatal checkup is when is it okay to have sex again? And similar to the timeline for your first women's health appointment, it's around the six weeks mark. And we say six weeks because that's kind of the average time it takes for the stitches to heal, for the scar tissue to heal, be it for your C-section or if you've had a tear or an episiotomy. Obviously, if you've had a bit more of a traumatic delivery or a higher grade tear, then this timeline will change. And again, we should be asking our gynae, our GP or our physio about when it's safe to go back, okay? Depending on the type of delivery you had. But for your kind of grade one, two or episiotomies or your C-section, we're saying six weeks. And obviously, maybe the first time you wanna take it kind of easy, maybe go with missionary position and just see how everything's feeling. You know, don't disrupt the apple cart, as they say. Um, but there's lots of reasons it takes longer than that for women. For some people, it's pain, pain in their scar, um, fear of that pain. And that's why a, an appointment with us, your postnatal checkup can be really helpful because we can really gently palpate, see how the scar is doing, give you a personal advice as to what you need to do if you need to stretch out the scar a little bit, if there's any other preparatory work that you can do yourself, or even just give you the confidence that everything's feeling okay and I think I'm ready now. Just even someone to talk to and ask these questions to to give you a bit of that confidence back. And we might tell you to start with a little bit of massage or stretching a bit like your perineal massage just to help reduce that scar tissue because sometimes it can actually feel tighter and a lot of women say god i didn't think it was going to feel tighter but that can be more from your scar tissue there than anything else and um, another reason why it can feel tighter is if you are really tense and afraid and that's normal your brain is anticipating pain it's also going god what's this going to feel like so that's not a very nice emotion that's not a romantic feeling so as a result your pelvic floor can kind of clench and tense up and that can kind of restrict the penis entering and give you a feeling of discomfort and you might even want to stop things there so it's really important that you feel relaxed and in the zone in the mood so that you can let that pelvic floor go and let things happen a little bit more smoothly and then you'll feel a little bit less tension or a little bit less pain there but again with that scar tissue we might need to do a little bit more than that so looking at using your finger or maybe a vibrator this can be great to desensitize the tissues bring on a bit of arousal again use it to kind of stretch things out yourself maybe you just feel more confident to do it yourself or talk to your partner. If you have a good relationship with them, be open with them. Maybe start with a little bit of foreplay first, just to, again, ease yourself back into it. And for some women, their body image is a big thing, feels so different after having a baby, and it can take time to kind of get used to that change. You're a new person, you're a new mom, you might've loved your pregnancy body, and now you just wanna feel like yourself again. And that just takes, time you know and maybe you'll never feel fully like yourself but you're a new person now and you're a great person and you know maybe you want to start with focusing on yourself first getting into a bit of exercise again looking at your nutrition trying to get some sleep if at all possible just to try and feel like your mood is better and that you're you know then easier to get into the mood if you like but focusing on yourself and trying to feel confident in yourself again and in your new body is really, really important um, and a huge factor in all this. And no one can tell you how long that's gonna take and it's different for every person, but I think it's good to open up the lines of communication, talk to a friend, talk to your partner, talk to one of us, talk to your GP. And if you really need further help, you could go in and see your obstetrician or gynecologist, but just talk about it can really help you face those fears a little bit. And we're all scared. Like we are all scared of the first one. It's a bit like your first poop after having a baby. It's really, really scary. So again, it just depends on your personality, whether you're somebody who just wants to jump back into it and get it over with or really take your time. Um, I always advise to use a good lubricant and a not good organic water-based lubricant if you can so that you don't cause any trush or, you know, irritate the tissues down there, um, especially after you've had a baby. So do invest in a good lubricant. And if you're breastfeeding, you might have low estrogen levels, so that can create a bit of dryness or feeling a bit tension down there, um, like stiffness down there. So that can cause pain during sex. And so again, you might go for a vaginal moisturizer, a really good lubricant, or go and see your GP for maybe a topical estrogen if you need to do that either. Um, and of course, 
don't forget protection, okay? If you haven't had your period back and you haven't gone back on the pill, unless you're really, really broody and ready for your Irish twin, then make sure you're using protection because you've no idea where you are in your cycle and things happen and they happen to people, a lot of people out there. So be conscious of that. But you know, most importantly, girls, take your time and do it when you're ready and reach out to us for help if you need to or to a professional and you know, the first time might feel weird and hopefully it starts to feel more and more normal to you as time goes on. So look, best of luck with it. I'm Aoife from Women's Health Dublin.ie.